In historical linguistics, a linkage is a group of related languages that is formed when a proto-language breaks up into a network of dialects that gradually differentiates into separate languages. The term was introduced by Malcolm Ross in his study of Western Oceanic Languages, Ross 1988. It is contrasted with a family, which arises when the proto-language speech community separates into groups that are isolated from each other, rather than forming a network. Principle Linkages are formed when languages emerged historically from the diversification of an earlier dialect continuum. Its members may have diverged despite sharing subsequent innovations, or such dialects may have come into contact and so converged. In any dialect continuum, innovations are shared between neighboring dialects in intersecting patterns. The patterns of intersecting innovations continue to be evident as the dialect continuum turns into a linkage. According to the comparative method, a group of languages that exclusively shares a set of innovations constitutes a genealogical subgroup. A linkage is thus usually characterized by the presence of intersecting subgroups. The tree model does not allow for the existence of intersecting subgroups and so is ill suited to represent linkages, which are better approached using the wave model. The cladistic approach underlying the tree model requires the common ancestor of each subgroup to be discontinuous from other related languages and unable to share any innovation with them after their separation. That assumption is absent from Ross and Francois's approach to linkages. Their genealogical subgroups also have languages descended from a common ancestor, as defined by a set of exclusively shared innovations, but WHOSR common ancestor may not have been discreetly separated from its neighbors. For example, a chain of dialects a, B, C, D, e, F, may undergo a number of linguistic innovations, some affecting B, C, D, others C, D, e, still others deaf. Insofar as each set of dialects was mutually intelligible at the time of the innovations, all can be seen as forming separate languages. Among them, Proto-BCD will be the language ancestral to the subgroup BCD, Proto-CDE the language ancestral to CDE and so on. As for the language descended from dialect D, it will belong simultaneously to three intersecting subgroups, BCD, CDE and DEF. In both the tree and the linkage approaches, genealogical subgroups are strictly defined by their shared inheritance from a common ancestor. Simply, although trees entail that all proto-languages must be discreetly separated, the linkage model avoids that assumption. Francois also claims that a tree can be considered a special case of a linkage in which all subgroups happen to be nested and temporally ordered from broadest to narrowest. Examples. An example of a linkage is the one formed the Central Malayo-Polynesian languages of the Banda Sea, a sea in the South Moluccas in Indonesia. The Central Eastern Malayo-Polynesian languages are commonly divided into two branches, Central Malayo-Polynesian and Eastern Malayo-Polynesian, each having certain defining features that unify them and distinguish them from the other. However, whereas Proto-Eastern and Proto-Central Eastern Malayo-Polynesian can be reconstructed, the sibling and the parent of Central Malayo-Polynesian, respectively, a Proto-Central Malayo-Polynesian language reconstruction, distinct from Proto-Central Eastern Malayo-Polynesian does not seem feasible. It may be that the branches of Central Malayo-Polynesian are each as old as Eastern Malayo-Polynesian but that they went on to exchange features that are now considered to define them as a family. The features common to Eastern Malayo-Polynesian can be assumed to have been present in a single ancestral language, but that is not the case for Central Malayo-Polynesian. This scenario does not amount to a denial of a common ancestry of the Central Malayo-Polynesian languages. It is only a reinterpretation of the age of the relationship to be just as old as their relationship to Eastern Malayo-Polynesian. François 2014, p. 171, suggests that most of the world's language families are really linkages that are made up of intersecting, not nested, subgroups. He cites the Oceanic languages of northern Vanuatu as well as those of Fiji and of Polynesia and at least some sections of the Pamanyungan, Athabascan, Semitic, Sinitic, and Indo-European families. Within Indo-European, Indo-Aryan, Western Romance and Germanic, in turn, form linkages of their own. See also Aerial feature Language contact
Notes References Sources Francois, Alexander. 2014. Trees, Waves and Linkages Models of Language Diversification. PDF, in Bowern, Clare, Evans, Bethwin, The Routledge Handbook of Historical Linguistics, London, Routledge, pp. 161 189, ISBN 978 0 41552 789 7. Hegarty, Paul, McGuire, Warren, McMahon, April 2010. Splits or Waves? Trees or Webs? How Divergence Measures and Network Analysis Can Unravel Language Histories. Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society B365 to 3829-3843. DOI 10.1098/rstb.2010.0099. PMC 2981917. Lynch, John, Malcolm Ross, Terry Crowley 2002. The Oceanic Languages. Richmond, Surrey, Curzon. ISBN 978-0-7007-1128-4. OCLC 48929366. Ross, Malcolm D. Proto-Oceanic and the Austronesian Languages of Western Melanesia. Canberra, Pacific Linguistics. 